All right, welcome back to Friday Briefing. Let's get part two of the show uh, started. And of course, we do that uh, by bringing in Willis, the word master. He's joining us live and direct from Sum City. Willis, good evening. How are you uh, <coughs> this Friday night? How has the week been so far? Looking bright in yellow? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks, uh, Betty. That is to say, thank you for asking. The week has been good, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> Before you go, let's just have mind your language, Willis, <laughs> here on Friday Briefing. All right, so I just want us to begin by taking a look at uh, Word on the Street. Let's just listen to what Kenyans this time around had to say. Ayon! Ayon, 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 Ayon. All right, Willis, you know, it's, um, I can't even, you know, even giggle, even a bit, because I'm not even sure about the correct pronunciation. So let me just leave it to you. How do we pronounce that word? Is it ayon, ayon, um, in, Betty, on? Before I handle the word, I would wish to say when I said just, you know, a while ago that I'm ready to go, yeah. that is I'm ready to do the job, not to go away. No, no it was on a light coming note. Coming <laughs> to this word, mm -hmm. yes, on a light note, I know. Yeah. Now, when we talk about this word, mm -hmm. you know, many people are talking of ion, ion. Right. I was even hearing something like ion. Yeah. But whichever way, Betty, uh -huh. this word is tricky. Four letters, but very tricky. Mm. A E O N, you say eon. Eon. <laughs> that is an extremely long period of time. You say eon with that A and E combining uh. to form the long sound E. That is eon. But remember, in American spelling, uh -huh. you'd have E-O-N. But you still pronounce it as eon. eon. Eons ago. An extremely long period of time, Betty. Yes. Eon. Got it, Willis. I knew it had a surprise to it. It was not just, you know, the way the letters have aligned themselves. Um, but, yeah, got it. Understood. <laughs> Moving on to this other word, Willis, and I'll spell it out. S-A-L-I-E-N-T. Do we say salient or salient? Um, which is which? Salient, no. Salient okay. is what we see in terms of the spelling. But yes. the word is not phonetic in terms of the spelling. You say say. Salient. Okay. salient, like when we talk of salient points uh -huh. or salient features, not salient. All right, salient, salient, got it, Willis. Now, Willis, before even we move on, I remember when I started the show, I promised um, uh, somebody on Twitter, I can't really remember the name, that I would ask you uh, the correct pronunciation of the word affid. David, Afi David, which is which, and, I'm, I, and I know that you've tackled this word quite a number of times before, but it keeps coming back, really. So talk to us about that. Betty, this word is simple, but many people get it wrong when it comes to pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Even in court proceedings and all that, or processions, when we have the court proceedings, not processions, Betty. Yeah. Now, this word you say, affidavit, not right. affidavit. 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 And I've had affidavit, affidavit. I've even had affidavit, which is <laughs> not the case. You say yes. affidavit. Affidavit. All right, got it, Willis. Affidavit. Yes. So if somebody wants to remember, they just remember the word David and then affidavit. Yeah. Anyway. Sound. The sound, <laughs> day. day. David. David. Okay, well, let's moving on to this other word, and this one we've been hearing quite a number of times this week um, with regards to what happened or what is happening in Zimbabwe. And um, C O U P, coop. Um, I've had coop, um, but I know P that that's not the correct answer. Yeah. Yes, P is silent. You say coup. Coup. A military coup, not a military coup. A right. military coup. Uh -huh. So that P is silent. Yeah. But Betty, we have the other word, recoup. That is, you know, used commonly in business, you know, news and all that. Uh -huh. You don't say recoup. You say recoup. 
But recoup. this specific word that you've asked about, yes, you say recoup. Yeah. Recoup. R E C O U P. Yeah. To recoup, that verb. But this one is coup. Okay. Coup. A military coup, and not coup. Yes. Yeah, well, and it's interesting, Willis, that you're you know talking about military and not military because uh, people is uh, you know are both words correct uh, when you say military and uh, military. You can use the consonant cluster tr, tr. That is tree, a military or a military. Okay. A so, military. Okay. Military. All right. So both of them are correct. You can use those ones as alternatives. Yes. All Betty. right. All right. Good. Moving on to this other word, I'll spell it out. It's a bit long, but yes. R e p e r t o i r e. Repertoire. Repertoire. Oh, repertoire. <laughs> repertoire. <laughs> repertoire. I was so wrong on that one, but yes. yeah. Repertoire. Repertoire. Remember, we also have reservoir. Reservoir. Okay. Repertoire. Uh -huh. These are words, you know, which are from French. Yeah. Repertoire. Reservoir. Okay. But Betty, for repertoire, we uh -huh. also have the other formal word where you talk of repertory. Repertory. That is R E P E R T O R Y. Repertory. Repertory. Mm. Repertoire. Yes. All right. So this takes me back to my geography. I hope you said geography and not geography. Yes. Geography. Not geography. <laughs> geography. You've got it right, Betty. Yeah. Geography, not geography, not <laughs> geography, not chocography. <laughs> Okay, anyway, we'll just, yeah. let us leave it at that. Yeah, so it reminds me yes. of, you know, ge ge <laughs> geography, right? Ge geography, geology, yeah. <laughs> geometry. Yeah. So when we talk yes. about the word reserve, reservoir, because most, even I used to say yes. reservoir, you know, in reservoir, but now I know. It's, it's not too late to, it to learn. and it's good to know. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Willis, moving on to this other word. Um, and I'll spell it out. N-E-S-T-L-E. -E, uh, Nestle. Nestle. Which is which, Willis? You say Nestle. To Nestle. All right. Nestle. N-E-S-T-L-E. -E, Nestle. Yeah. Then P-E-S-T-L-E. -E, pestle. Yes. Then remember we have wrestle. To wrestle. wrestle. Mm, Pestle, Nestle. All right. Willis, what about this one? Composite, composite, which is which, Willis? Oh, you say composite. A composite picture. Composite oh. picture. Oh. But better remember we have the word opposite. Yeah. That one you can also pronounce it as opposite. You can use the voiced sound z, z. like a z that is opposite, uh -huh. but you can also say opposite with that opposite. unvoiced or the voiceless sound s, opposite uh -huh. and opposite. All right. But this one is composite. composite. Strictly composite. Composite. Yes. I used to say composite. But anyway, <laughs> that's why we're here. That's why we have it. It happens, really... Betty. It happens. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So this one, this other word, will is C H A O S. Um, you know, I've had people saying chaos. Uh, <laughs> take us through that, Willis. Some say chaos. Yeah. Chaos. Chaos. Which is nowhere in English. Really? Chaos? No. Chaos. Chaos or chaos. Don't use z. It's chaos or chaos. Are we uh, together, Betty? Yeah. Chaos okay. or chaos. What we should avoid is z. Oh, that okay. s takes the voiceless or the unvoiced sound z. Chaos, chaos. But chaos is always the most accurate pronunciation, <laughs> Betty. Chaos. <laughs> chaos. Will is a yes, serious you talk surprise? Yes, to plunge. Mm. To plunge into chaos. Into chaos. To plunge into chaos. Then you say. Chaotic. 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 It may be new to many people, it's but we say chaos. To me, yeah. Chaotic. Interesting, Willis. I've, that means like very many of us, even my colleagues, uh, have been mispronouncing this one uh, in particular uh, because we normally say chaos and it's wrong. So it's chaos. Chaos, no. Okay. And you know, Betty, as non native speakers of English language, yeah. sometimes as we only learn grammar and vocabulary uh -huh. and little you know emphasis is laid on pronunciation so sometimes 
we end up guessing. That is why sometimes I tell people, don't laugh at another person because yeah. you may also be getting it wrong and yes. nobody is perfect. Nobody. Not even Willie. So not you have to be very careful. But if you're in careers of serious communication, Betty, yeah. it's important for you to learn the phonology of English if you're using English in that career of serious communication. Very important, Willis. Thank you for that. Willis, let's move on to the yes. feedback question. And this one comes from, uh, is it Tobias Ademba? Uh, he's yes. asking about this Tobias word. Tobias Ademba. Tobias, yes, not Tobias. He's asking about this word, vengeance, vengeance. Which is which, Willis? You say vengeance. 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 To take vengeance, vengeance. on somebody. To uh -huh. take vengeance. 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 No. <laughs> and it reminds vengeance. me about the word pageant. Mm -hmm. Pageant. Some people say pageant. We should avoid that. Pageant. Pageantry. Pageant. Mm -hmm. Many people say pageant. Page it's not their pageants. liking, but sometimes without knowing which is which, mm -hmm. you may find yourself saying pageant the way Page. other people say. But mm. the correct pronunciation for that word is pageant. Pageant. Pageantry. Right. Then we have vengeance. Vengeance. Not vengeance or <laughs> vengeance. All right. Got it, Willis. Got it. Yes. Got it. <laughs> uh huh, Willis. Moving on to our surprise words. Uh, to surprise what Betty, I think we should go through uh, the, the other people, Sophie Chepkwon, uh -huh. meteorological, not metrological. Betty, we don't talk of metrological department when we are handling weather matters or weather forecasts. Mm -hmm. We talk of meteorology, meteorological department. Metrology meteorological. is the scientific study of measurement. So saying metrological department in weather forecasts, that is vague. Meteorolo Meteorology, Meteorolo Meteorological Department. Meteorolo Enoch Marial, dear of South. Meteorological. Meteor Meteorological. Meteorological. <laughs> Meteorological. Meteor a bit tricky. Meteorological. You know, more of a tongue twister, but yeah. you have to practice, Betty. Meteorological Department. Meteorological. Yes. Okay, got it. <laughs> Moving. There you are. Yeah. That is it, Betty. Okay, thank Enoch you. Enoch Marial, dear of South Sudan, Gobbledygook and plenipotentiary. Shadrach Kikoma of Nairobi, cuisine, mm. not cuisine, cuisine. <laughs> cuisine. Mwalimu Julius Apando of Agorosare High School and Dennis Tenye, lacuna, profit, La not prophet. Prophet is what we see, lacuna. Lacuna, uh -huh. profit, is that the word we know as lacuna? Shepard. All right. Yes, many people talk of lacuna, uh. but lacuna, is the acceptable or the accurate pronunciation, like Betty? Like Brenda Mwangi and Caroline mm. Jerry of mm. Nyeri, you say catering, catering services, not catering, <laughs> as commonly said by many people catering. locally. Yeah. Catering, no, catering. <laughs> Kipto, Kiptai, mm -hmm. Svelte or Svelte and Maneuver, Maneuver. Uh -huh. Julius Mukisa of Kampala, Uganda, you say, oh, Julius is giving us a word which is, uh, I think it's Chinese. Mm -hmm. Y-U-E, U-A is, it, that is not a basic English word. Julius Mukisa of Kampala, Uganda. I think that is Chinese. <laughs> but you say U-A, but I'm not a specialist. I'm not a specialist when it comes to pronouncing Chinese words. In fact, I don't know Chinese, to be <laughs> very honest with you. Yes. Naimodu Evans, mm. you say minute when it's in time, but minute when you are talking about something that is very small or tiny. But it's such words which have, you know, the same spelling, but different pronunciation mm -hmm. and different meanings, they are called heteronyms. All right. In grammar, you talk of homographs, but you say minute for time, minute for very small. Dr. Chris, right. you say Edgerton. Edgerton. Edgerton University. Edgerton. Edgerton is also acceptable. Edgerton mm. is the most accurate pronunciation of that name. Ken or catch, you say usually dilemma or dilemma. You can say dilemma or you say dilemma. Then pooch. Triza muticia of machacos, the past tense of the verb win mm. is won, won, not won. Many people talk of won. They won the match. No. He won the battle. Uh -huh. He won the seat. We should avoid that. W-O-N is one, one, just like O-N-E. 
then One. finally Munyoki Jr., uh -huh. you say courteous. Courteous. courteous from courtesy. Uh -huh. Courteous. All right. And then you say cautious. Mm. Then we go now to, oh, bet you I can see Francis Lopao, the fans of Friday Briefing. You say <laughs> benign and Jonathan Okwemba, Al and Popa. Then we Popa. come to the surprise word for tonight, Betty. Right. Popa, not paupa. Okay. Popa. Popa. But now we have the surprise word for tonight. Uh -huh. Many people talk of cerebral palsy. Mm. Cerebral palsy. palsy, which is not the pronunciation of this word. Mm -hmm. That letter A takes the long sound O. So you say palsy. Oh. Palsy, not palsy. Yeah, palsy. Cerebral palsy. palsy. And that is why I brought it as a surprise word for That's tonight. That's a surprise, Willis. Yeah, for palsy. sure. Palsy. Yes, not palsy. Just like we don't talk of paltry when you're talking of something that is not enough or not useful mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, that which is meager. Mm. You don't say paltry. You say paltry. 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 All right. But P-O-U-L-T-R-Y uh -huh. is po. Paltry. Then, yes, poultry. That mm. is like poultry farming and all that. Right. Then, Betty, finally, we have the confusing words. Mm. You must have heard people talking of to float the rules, mm -hmm. to float the rules, yeah. which sounds vague. F-L-O-A-T is the word that is pronounced as float, to float. float. And you can see the phonetic transcription that I've given, float, mm. to float. float the but when rules. we have F-L-O-U-T, you say flout, flout. to flout the rules, okay. flout to the flout rules. the traffic rules. Yes, Don't say yes. float the rules, <laughs> to flout. That is flout. the word below. So, flout, not float. Mm. But the upper word, float, to float on water. And Betty, that makes English a bit English, <laughs> but we have to try. Let English be English, Willis. Thank you very much. Let English be English. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, Willis, thank you very much for the lesson tonight. Remember that you can follow Willis, the webmaster, at Willis Ocheng1. That's his Twitter handle. Willis, the biggest surprise tonight, lacuna and not lacuna. Yes, yes. I lacuna. have a number of learned friends. Yes, lacuna. I'll, yeah, I'll tell them about that word, lacuna. All right, Willis, the word must. Thank you very much. It's been uh, talking to us uh, from Kisumu City. And you can always 